Hello and welcome to Technically Explained. In this video, we are going to solve another problem related to the FM bandwidth and PM bandwidth. So it says that M of t is equal to sine 2000 pi t. Kf is given to you, which is 200,000 pi. Kp is equal to 10, and we need to find the FM bandwidth and the PM bandwidth. Okay, so we have message signal given to us, which is my sine 2000 pi t. So we can write it that message signal is basically our sinusoidal signal in this case that is sine omega t. So here we have omega is equal to 2000 pi and we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f. So 2 pi f is equal to 2000 pi which means that f is equal to in this case we have f is equal to 1000 hertz. So now we know the bandwidth of the message signal. This is the frequency of the message signal and because message signal is of single frequency, so this is the bandwidth of the message signal. So we know that bandwidth is equal to 1000 Hz. Now we know one factor. Now we are asked to find the bandwidth of the modulated signal. We have found the bandwidth of the message signal which is 1000 Hz. We need to find the bandwidth of the modulated signal that is del fm of t and del pm of t. So now first of all let me write del pm of t del fm of t so we are going to have del fm of t and we know the formula for this bandwidth using the carson rule that is 2 del f plus b equation 1 now del f as you know that del f is equal to kf mp divided by 2 pi now kf is given to you Kf is given to you which is 200,000 pi. So we are going to have 200,000 pi. And then we have the peak amplitude of the message signal. Remember message signal is your sinusoidal. So we are going to have 1 over here. Here the peak amplitude is going to be 1. So we are going to multiply by 1 and divide by 2 pi. And this is going to give me the frequency deviation. So now del f is equal to this comes out to be 100,000 hertz or 100 kilohertz. So we have frequency deviation of 100 kilohertz. Now I can put it over there. We have the FM bandwidth that is equal to 2 del F has been found out which is 100 kilohertz. Sorry for this. Let me remove this. Del F has been found out which is 100 kilohertz. And so we are going to put 100 kilohertz over here. And then we have the B which is 1000 Hz or 1 kilohertz. So we have 1 kilohertz over here. Now 100 plus 1 is 101. So this comes out to be 202 kilohertz. So we have found out. We have found out the bandwidth of the FM wave that comes out to be 202 kilohertz. Fine. Now next is to find the PM bandwidth. Okay, the formula for the PM bandwidth is the same. That is, the PM bandwidth is also equal to that can also be found using the Carson's, Carson's rule that is 2 del F plus B. But in this case, del F is different. In this case, del F is equal to Kp Mp bar divided by 2 pi. Now, the Kp is given to you that Kp is equal to 10, that is given in the question. What about the MP bar? Now because we have the message signal M of t is equal to sine 2000 pi t. So MP bar is basically derivative of M of t and then the peak value of that. So M bar of t that is the derivative of M of t that will be equal to 2000 cosine 2000 pi t. And now the maximum value of this thing this will be maximum when this term cosine 2000 pi t is equal to 1. So in this case mp bar is equal to 2000 pi. Fine. So now we can put in in del f. So we have del f is equal to kp is 10 multiplied by 2000 pi because mp bar is 2000 pi and divided by 2 pi. So we are going to solve this pi and pi is going to be cancelled out and this 2 will be cut with this 2 so this will be 1000. So we are going to have 10,000. So del F is going to be equal to 10,000 or 10 kilohertz. 
So once we have found out the del F, we have also already found out B, the B which was 1 kilohertz. So now we are going to put value. So we have 10 kilohertz plus B which is the bandwidth of the message signal that is 1 kilohertz. So 10 plus 1 is 11. So we have 2 into 11 kilohertz which means that the bandwidth of the PM signal is 22 kilohertz. So we have the bandwidth of the PM signal as 22 kilohertz. So we have found out all the unknowns. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.